Action. Good day. Luke, tell us about yourself. Well, my name is Luke Pounder. I'm an environmental scientist and a climate activist. I work with soil remediation, reforestation, and content creation to raise awareness of environmental issues and climate change. Do you believe climate change is important? And why? And if so, why should Trinidad and Tobago be concerned with it? We've been studying climate change for hundreds of years, and the evidence is concrete. The more fossil fuels, the higher the temperature. And just the slightest change in temperature could throw the entire Earth's climate off balance. The thing is, it's complicated to measure because our lifestyle and our behavior affects the rate at which the climate changes. So at the end of the day, it's up to us. Because we're small island developing states surrounded by water with poor infrastructure and in insane weather conditions, we're going to expect to see more droughts more flooding, more hurricanes, and all of these things are going to be the new normal for us. So we need to be able to adapt ourselves to the changing conditions. Do you believe Trinidad or any other small island in the Caribbean should have an obligation to remedy the effects of climate change? Yeah, climate change is a global issue. We need to cooperate at all levels to be able to tackle such a problem. Firstly, the personal level. We need to be more sustainable and more eco-friendly eco in our decisions. Secondly, the communal level, we need to rally up votes and pressure our local leaders to make eco-friendly decisions, reduce the emissions and put taxes on carbon and work to fix problems such as drainage and transportation and pollution. All of these things compounded with the fact that the climate is changing means that we will experience an even greater effect being small islands in a developing state. And finally, on a global level, if we don't work together to make sure all of the countries develop, then even if the first world becomes carbon neutral, we still won't reach the goals that we need in order to fight climate change. So basically, Everybody needs to work together at all levels in order to beat this. How do you think the country could do better when it comes to the battle against climate change? I think we could do better in all regards. Firstly, we live in the tropics. We are blessed with constant sunlight. We have access to wind, solar and tidal energy. We can definitely move towards more renewable energy. Additionally, our transport systems are riddled with inefficiencies. We have more cars than people on this country. And because of this, we have insane carbon emissions on an annual basis. Pollution. The drains are too small. We use too much materials. And with the combination of not enough space for the waste and too much waste, we're overflowing in this pollution. When the weather worsens and flooding happens, this pollution is going to even further worsen all the damages that we will see in our country. And we're seeing it today. If you look throughout the majority of Trinidad, it is submerged with just a little bit of rain. So instead of spending millions repairing the damages, we should spend and invest on ways to adapt and mitigate those damages that we're seeing, those problems that we're having. We need to put money into those problems. And finally, if we neglect our wild spaces, the spaces that give us oxygen and food and materials and produce soil and a, hum a humongous list of benefits that our wild spaces have, including the biodiversity and the tourism, we can make a much better use of our environment in that way because it, at the end of the day, helps protect us from climate change. They provide natural barriers and buffers to reduce the damages that we will see. In conclusion, what direction do you see the fight against climate change heading in, say, the next 10 to 15 years, given our current track record? The next 10 years depends on what we do today. The future will be affected on our present. So if we don't solve these problems, we'll end up spending a lot more money 
We must have hope that we can work together to solve this issue. And we must believe we can, because if we, if we don't believe, we won't try. So from a personal to a global perspective, we have to work together to ensure the survival of life on this earth.